I would ask both of you a different question, which is, um, this goes to, you mentioned Ethereum earlier, ETH. We have this big merge coming, um, which is going to effectively go from a uh, proof of uh, stake to uh, uh, a proof of work to a proof of stake situation. Um, there are risks involved in this. And so the question is, is this a catalyst that takes us and takes it to another place in terms of how fast it grows? Or is this, a you think, a, a big risk to the entire valuation of it? Well, I, I want to yield that to Sam because okay. he's obviously, you know, closer to the situation than me. I, I like the merge personally, but let's yield that to Sam because he's just. Sam, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think long term, it's probably going to be, uh, you know, exciting for the Ethereum community. I think it's. You know, it's going to allow uh, substantially faster and cheaper processing of transactions for Ethereum. I think that 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 sort of was you know one of the big impetuses for it in the first place. Uh, I do think that it's going to be you know as all big transitions are a little bit rocky at the beginning. I, I I think that you know there's going to be you know some messy activity around when it happens. Um, I think that's sort of inevitable. Well, but long term um, and probably even medium term, I think it, it's probably going to be healthy. And when you say when you say messy, what do you mean? You know, I think that first of all, there are going to be some forks of this, right? Um, pretty likely, as you look at, you know, some people who want a, uh, you know, a proof of work variant on it. Um, although, you know, I think everyone is, is expecting that the bulk of the activity is going to transition, you know, to the proof of stake, uh, you know, Ethereum through this merge. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of people in the ecosystem who have to update software, who have to start processing the new chain. Many of those are going to be promptly ready to do it. Some of those probably are not. Um, you know, I expect that APIs are going to break in ways people didn't quite predict, and there's going to have to be bug fixes released on centralized entities that are trying to consume a decentralized blockchain and fail to realize that that the merge has happened. Um, I think you have protocols having you know to have developers uh, learn some new things. It's I don't think it's going to be uh, you know a huge deal uh, medium term. Um, but but it, it's a big transition, and right. you know, anytime that happens, especially when it's not just one company doing, it, when it's an entire decentralized ecosystem and all the decentralized and centralized entities in it trying to transition all at once, some people are going to flub the transition and take some time uh, to clean it up. People have called it the Y two K of of crypto. The question is, remember, everybody was worried yeah. about Y two K, and then in fact, it seemed to work out just fine. Well, listen, yeah. I mean, I oh, go ahead, Sam. Sorry. Oh, as you say, I think it'll work out just fine for, for most places, but I think there's going to be some mess around the edges. What were you going to say? No, I was just going to say that the you, you're talking about Y2K. Let's go back to 1998 Web 1. Uh, it, would, it would take 35 seconds to get your landing page on AOL. Now look at us. Billions right. of people are streaming. We're so early in the space that whatever glitches that happen five years from now, people are going to be very happy that they were in a selection of these cryptocurrencies. Hey, Sam, before we go, um, given that you've been now making investments in lots of different businesses, including Anthony's this morning, a lot of folks have been focused on uh, the deal and your interest in Robinhood. Uh, it's a company we talk about a lot on this program. Long term, what, what's, your, what's your plan in terms of your investment in Robinhood? What is that? I mean, you know, I'm excited for what I think that, you know, could become the company, excited for what Vlad and the team is doing there. Um, you know, fundamentally, I think that it was, you know, Possibly an underpriced asset, not not investment advice, and, and you know, obviously prices and, and markets have changed. Um, but I think that that there's you know big upside uh, given the huge amount of mind share that it has captured. But is that a company you would ultimately want to control and own in its entirety? Do you feel like you can, you compete with that company in many ways? And so, how do you think about those two component parts? You know, who knows what the future holds? But as of right now, I'm just excited for for them to to drive it forward.